This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see man analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the reverse repo is now two days in a row, two trading days in a row below 600,000. The reverse repo is now at $513 billion. And I said, if we get five days in a row, five training days rather, five training days in a row, under 600 billion, we are gonna see some crazy volatility in the market. Less than two years ago, the reverse repo was at $2 trillion. The fact that it's down to 513 billion means the bad actor, these entities, these banks are running out of money. And because they're running out of money, that's why the reverse repo is dropping. And I came to this conclusion based on what I saw with the 2008 reverse repo numbers. When they dropped a certain level in 2008, that's when the crisis hit another level. And based on my analysis, and, you know, they say we don't do any DD. We close our eyes and throw darts at the board. That's how we decide what companies we want to invest in according to the sec and these bad actors but but based on everything i've seen everything i've read everything i've looked at for 2008 i predict that if the reverse repo stays below 600,000 for five consecutive trading days there will be chaos and maybe i am totally incorrect I mean, that is a distinct possibility. Maybe these guys have more control over the stock market than, than I imagine. But based on what happened in 2008, and now we're on day number two, the second trading day, under 600,000. If they maintain this for three more trading days, I predict a lot of volatility and a lot of chaos in the market. And the AMC naked shortest. And the entities lending money to these naked shorters, I see them all in financial risk. I see the liquidity gone. I see them being forced to close out their AMC short positions. And it's in the billions, possibly the trillions. That's why this, the, the, these tokens are still running around. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think... The fact that the reverse repo is going down is a good indicator that these bad actors who are naked shorting AMC, GME, and other companies are slowly running out of money. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.